In this guide I'll show you how to beat body of work, last chapter boss. It isn't as difficult as some of the other ones, but the fight lasts long and without a good preparation boss can bring you down over time easily. Not gonna go with specific party builds in this video as it is a peculiar fight that can be done with many different setups. First thing to do before getting to the boss is to buy and use every possible in item that grants buffs, especially dodge at round start like speed bag, mop bucket and holy beads. That goes for shield, health increase, damage increase and crit chance items. Stack as many buffs as possible on as many characters as possible. To make first phase much easier, use blight resist poultice and or tinned delicacies at the inn next to other stuff and equip on one character blight resist trinket. On that same character with blight resist trinket equip fate's foreteller in case you find it during the run. This is gonna help that character heal itself without spending actions. Combat items should be healing stuff to keep people away from death's door. Unfortunately, during the whole run I found almost no healing selves or other healing items whatsoever, which is astounding. Here is one minor suggestion. One character can go into the fight with invigorating intoxicant to, to buff death resist after reaching death's door. So let's get to the mechanics. Boss has three phases. First phase is the blight phase. With blight resist stuff I mentioned earlier, this phase should be easy. Attack the boss with all your might and don't try to blight it because of high blight resistance. Collaboration confers advantage. Second phase boss can be blighted next to all other damage over time stuff and debuffs. Main mechanic here is glare which puts contempt on one character. That means glare the target will be hit by haymaker that does ton of damage and shuffles the target and attack cannot be avoided. To cancel boss's haymaker you have to damage him to the threshold marked on HP bar. Haymaker usually comes during end of next round after the round when glare was used. In case of imminent failure to DPS boss to the threshold, use protection from men at arms or Vestal if you have them to protect targeted character from Haymaker.
Here is one more thing you should be careful about in second and third phase. If any of the characters have four or more positive tokens, a boss is gonna steal in second phase all of them and in third phase invert them to negative tokens. So try to keep positive tokens below four if possible. Phase 3 is an interesting one. Aside token inversion, heroes are gonna have to face their past in one versus one duel. First, the boss is gonna summon two little bastards that you need to kill. Most likely he's gonna summon again, so you kill again. After that comes face our failures which summons ghost from the past. You can choose which character will fight his past but each character can only be picked once. On winning the duel, special action can be used that damages boss for 200 health. After that, boss summons little bastards again. Kill them couple times to make another character face their past. Then damage the boss for 200 more health, rinse and repeat. Last phase is a bit problematic and you can DPS the boss, but it shouldn't be a priority. Faster you get rid of little bastards, faster you'll face your past and be able to deal 200 damage. In total that equates to 800 damage, so 200 damage is what you need to deal to boss to finish the fight. How and when to do that is up to you. Try to save combat items for last phase to heal when needed and resist death. Here is shortened version of rest of the fight as it takes too long. Hope this guide helps and see you soon.
at least has been tended to. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. Emancipation is at hand. Unmake this illusion. To destroy the thing is to destroy yourself. But the world will spring anew from the memory you kept.